Well, some people say the occasional drink or a little marijuana is okay, especially during this pandemic. But at what point does casual drinking or vaping become a problem, and how can people get help if they need it? Here to answer those questions and more, Emily Mandigo, the clinical supervisor at Oakland Family Services. Emily, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me on. We've been reporting that uh, alcohol consumption has increased during this health crisis. A lot of people have had more time at home, more downtime, and so maybe having uh, a drink or two more than they normally did um, became a habit. Um, have you seen uh, the adverse effects of that? We sure, for sure have. We've seen um, kind of more clients reporting more use that a lot of the coping skills that we used to have either are on pause or look different, things like going to the gym, going to the movies, hanging out with other friends. Um, we don't have those same things. So people are looking for a different escape and oftentimes that leads to substance use, either drinking or smoking or any other substance use. We also have increased stress looking at job insecurities, um, things like working and then also doing virtual learning with our children. So at the end of the day, just kind of want to relax and people find alcohol as a way to do that. Have you seen a particular age group becoming increasingly dependent on alcohol over the past year? Um, studies have shown in the past year that that what I like to call is the quarter life crisis, that 25 to 35 year old age where a lot of in uncertainties at that age, what, what's happening next, what is my career looking like? Um, it's just a big fa phase of life change. So with that, there's increased use, a lot more loneliness at that age too, that they don't have that family to kind of occupy some of that time. Well, today, of course, is 420, and um, you know people may be celebrating with some marijuana. What are some concerns you may have about long-term use of marijuana or marijuana abuse? Um, so many of my clients I've seen have said, there's no long-term effects, and there are that things like memory loss, um, sleep issues, moody, moodiness, um, respiratory issues, um, increased rates of mental illness. So looking at, or mental health issues, looking at things like increased anxiety, anxiety, paranoia, schizophrenia. So those things that can kind of, if we're using a substance that's going to be impacting our brain, it's going to have an effect on our brain too. Of course, some people use it medicinally um, with advice from doctors. What, what indicators would you say you or a loved one might be abusing alcohol or marijuana when, when, you, when the casual use has become problematic? Yeah, and I think it's important to look at that not all use is problematic, that it's when is it having a negative impact on your life? So looking at things like, um, am I not keeping up with some of my responsibilities? Have people told me that I should decrease my use? Am I using in a more secretive way um, that moodiness again coming in? But I look at, has it had a negative impact in your life? Sure, and you have the day one program. We have about 15 seconds left. How can people get help there? So they can call our office. Our phone number is 248-858-7766, and they can talk to um, our intake specialist and get an appointment. Also go to oaklandfamilyservices.org for more information. I wish we had so much more time <laughs> to talk with you, Emily. Very helpful advice for, for folks today. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me.